Hey tribe. So I just wanted to do a quick video about pendulum dowsing because I got a lot of messages the other day after I posted that video about me and my cat and whenever I was pendulum dowsing in it. So, so pendulum dowsing. Actually, there's nothing witchy about this. There's nothing devilish about this. Actually, there is a scientific um, explanation for this. It's called the idiomotor effect. Yeah, the idiomotor effect. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So, idiomotor effect causes tiny, small, unconscious uh, muscle movements um, in your body because of the person's preconceptions, expectations, or suggestibility. Yeah, so yeah, people use this during hypnosis, Oprah's done it, a bunch of people use pendulums for a bunch of different things. So I personally use it to access my subconscious, my higher self, my soul. This one I have right here is a Labradorite um, crystal stone and it's rather lightweight. Um, you can make one yourself. You can just get a regular necklace, anything with a string and something heavy on the end is perfectly okay for a pendulum dowsing. You can make one out of a round nut, a, a, <laughs> a, a, a bolt nut, you know, one of those round things and, and a string. You can make one like that. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. You can make one out of dental floss. You can take a necklace, anything to make you your own pendulum, okay? Anything around the house, anything that'll move. I've seen somebody take the um, a thing of dental floss and just unwind it and just have that, the container, and have that move, so it's nothing. Anything that is a heavy object on a piece of string will work perfectly. So yeah, my pendulum might go a certain way for yes and a certain way for no. That doesn't mean yours is gonna do the exact same direction. Everybody's is different. So keep that in mind. Don't be thinking like yours is gonna go the same direction mine is. So let me show you how to calibrate your pendulum. So the first thing you need to do before you use a pendulum is just meditate, Take some deep breaths, just really ground yourself, center yourself, and just really relax and calm down. Don't be all like, have your mind going all these different ways. Um, just calm your mind down and get in a nice quiet place where you can have some space with you, just you and your pendulum. And yeah, just meditate calm down center yourself relax before you use your pendulum that's the first step and the next thing is you hold it like that but rest your elbow on your knee or on your knee or a um, table top counter top anything it's just something to give your elbow some support okay and then you just um, con concentrate on your pendulum and ask it, pendulum, higher self, show me yes. Show me yes. If I was to ask a question and the answer is yes, show me yes. There you go. It's going clockwise in a circle. Thank you, higher self. Thank you. Always tell it thank you. Always use your manners with your higher self, your pendulum. So next, you want to say, pendulum, higher self, show me no. Show me no. If I asked a question and the answer is no, what would that be? What does that look like? Here you go. And it just goes, mine goes back and forth, left and right. There you go. Thank you, Pendulum Higher Self. Thank you very much. 
So then you got two more um, options to ask. The next one is um, pendulum higher self. If I ask a question and the answer is maybe, or I don't know, what does that look like? There you go. So mine is like this, up and down. Thank you, Pendulum Higher Self. So then you got one last one. And that is Pendulum Higher Self. If I ask a question and the answer is, I don't need to know at this time, what does that look like? There you go. Yeah, it's counterclockwise motion. So, if you want to, you know, ask a few more things just to make sure that that is um, the right direction for you, you can, you know, ask, a f um, make a few statements that are true statements. Like, my name is Erin. Um, I love cats. Or, um, and, and then when it stay has a consistent direction then you know that that's your direction you know that that's what it is so you can you know do that for whatever so yeah um some good things to to be mindful of if you have a strong emotional connection to a question like if you're just desperate to get an answer for a question for example, if you are going through a breakup or something and you are really emotionally invested in this situation, um, it's, you're probably not going to get very accurate answers because you probably are going to be willing the pendulum to give you a certain answer. So if you're like, does he love me? I need to know, does he love me? You know, you're probably going to, it's probably going to say yes. And it's probably not going to be accurate you know because you're just really emotionally attached to that answer so try to you know pull your emotions out of something as much as you can and um try not to use your pendulum for every single thing like try to use your intuition as much as you can you know um yeah, trust in yourself, most of all. But yeah, pendulum dowsing. That's what this is. Nothing with you about it, guys. I have seen some people uh, try to get their lottery numbers with these things. For instance, you need to pick five numbers between 1 and 35. The way you do that is you say, Hey, pendulum, I need five numbers between 1 and 35. Okay? You tell them, tell them what that objective is. And then, so should I pick number one? Should I pick number one? And then it'll tell you yes or no. And just go down the list. Should I pick number two? Yes or no? And then write down what it says yes and what it says no. Let me know if anybody tries that and wins the lottery. <laughs> I am very intrigued by that. So let me know if anybody tries that. Um, yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Um, let me know if I didn't cover anything that you would like me to cover about this subject. And or if you have anything you want to add. Or, yeah, let's start a discussion going. So, um, also, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my page. Like my page and uh comment below so yeah i'll see you next video love and light to you all